And let's see, we're hoping it's gonna stop raining. We're heading into Harrisburg. Is that the name of the city? That's the name of the city. The, the name H of the city is Harrisburg. We're gonna go in and slap the weatherman around and get rid of this rain. Um, and then we'll uh, sign a few photos, grease the machinery that works, and then uh, we'll be heading back. And tonight we start the uh, Luray um, Darkwood Manor appearance schedule. So cross over. Robotics are good. I know. It's, I just, I just high like tech. I like the high tech. Surgery, the Da Vinci method. No, no doctor required. <laughs> recognize this guy? He played Eddie Munster on the 1960s TV show The Munsters. We'll have a live interview with Butch Patrick straight ahead. Stay with us. Sorry, Todd. That's cool. Thanks for the heads up, Andy. Welcome back to the News at Noon. We have a very special guest with us here today, Butch Patrick. Now, if you don't recognize this face, let's go ahead and show you a photo that you might recognize instead. I think we have that. There we go. That is Eddie Munster. He played Eddie Munster on The Munsters. Welcome to the News at Noon. First of all, what are you doing in the valley? Well, this is uh, my time of year to go around the country and visit modern houses and attractions. And um, Darkwood Manor in Luray contacted me a few months ago and asked me on my tour if I could swing by and visit them this weekend if I agreed to do it. And I'm glad I did. It's one of the really best kept secret houses around. It's uh, cool. really cool. Um, Lewis Brown put it together and I walked through it yesterday in the daytime. And it was just first rate stuff, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it tonight with the actors and all the lights. Question comes from Diana Desper, our Facebook friend. And she wants to know the age old question how did they get your hair to look like that on the show? Um, I make a man Mike Westmore uh, put that on me. The first Eddie Munster didn't have that hair and didn't have the eyebrows. Uh -huh. They didn't think that the offspring permanent lily would be so cute, so they ugly <laughs> me up a lot. All right. Well, our assistant news director here, Kay Nord, wants to know if you had a favorite episode of The Munsters. Uh, a few of them. I liked the one where I grew a beard, Eddie's nickname. Uh -huh. um, when I wanted to grow tall, I just grew a beard and saw Mo, where I bought a TV. Uh, a movie host of horror movies was a real guy and I won a contest. Then I went on a television set much like this and saw the magic behind the magic and I was very disappointed. All right. And our, our final question from you, for you from our viewers this afternoon, what are your favorite memories from being on the Munsters? I always enjoyed the cars. As a matter of fact, tonight a gentleman's going to be there. Um, I believe his name is uh, Mr. Posey's going to be there. And he's bringing a Munster coach and a Dragula to be on display. So I enjoyed riding around in the cars and hanging around with George Ferris as he was creating all these custom cars for all the big stars. Very cool. Now tell us quickly, if people want to see you tonight or tomorrow, how can they do that? 7 to 11 in Luray at Darkwood Manor. It's on the Hawksville Road. Um, I'll be there and I'll be going through. And then tomorrow we have a contest. We have people being lunch with me and we're going to go through the Ray Caverns. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and we hope you'll come back and visit us again sometime soon. Thank you, Todd. All right. We'll be right back. Oh, awesome. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. We got one more segment to do in the show, but I mean, you're free to hang out here or in the news. Thank, you, so, you, thank you so much, partner. Thank you. Good stuff. Please know you have a home here. Back in town. <laughs> All of you. My people. <laughs> Your people. My people. <laughs> I love it. Your people. <laughs> See, all you got to do is go into the local affiliate. You don't like the weather. Grab the weatherman by the throat. Offer him a picture. Sunshine abounds. So anyway, this is going to be a good day. The coverage was nice. Everybody was very sweet in there. Uh, went well. I'd, I don't get a chance to usually, usually set up with two mics and an earpiece and play uh, broadcast news. So that was kind of fun. At least they don't catch you picking your nose because you know when they're going to come to you. And an entirely robotic station too. No cameraman, no nothing. Very state of the art. Now we're going back to Luray. Bye.